blessings to you from the Holy Cross College chaplains and the Jesuit community. My name is Emily Rauer Davis, and I welcome you to this reflection on our readings for the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. Who do you say that I am? This question Jesus poses to the disciples in today's gospel and its seemingly straightforward answer turn out to have life-altering implications. After Peter confesses Jesus to be the Christ, the son of the living God, Jesus blesses him and in a clever play on Peter's name, proclaims that he will be the rock on which the church will be built. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven, Jesus says to Peter, in a remarkable bequeathal of authority and trust. The gospel echoes the first reading from the prophet Isaiah, in which Eliakim is elevated to a position of prominence, replacing the corrupt Shebna. I will place the key of the house of David on Eliakim's shoulder. Here too is a hopeful reminder that God's reign will continue well into the future with justice and righteousness as guiding principles. And yet, there's something unsettling about these conferrals of power, something that makes them both noteworthy and utterly ordinary. Those entrusted with such great authority are so very human. If we read just a few more lines into the book of Isaiah, for instance, we learn that Eliakim will ultimately disappoint. And though Peter gets it right in today's gospel, there are plenty of other occasions in which he misses the mark, wavers in faith, or lets fear get the best of him. Scripture is full of examples in which God calls someone ordinary, unlikely even, to do something monumental, to be someone they never imagined they could be. It stretches the boundaries of human comprehension. Shouldn't such extraordinary responsibility be entrusted to an extraordinary person? But this question stems from a human disposition, not a divine one. How inscrutable are God's judgments and how unsearchable God's ways, writes St. Paul to the Romans. Indeed, we would have very few scriptural or saintly examples to look to if their worth was measured solely by human standards. The important question isn't about us, but rather about the one who calls us. Who do you say that I am? Jesus asks of his disciples. Peter's response is the correct one, and it's all we need to know. The Son of the living God calls us into shared life with God. We're not called because we're worthy. We're worthy because we're called. Who do you say that I am? Jesus asks this question of each of us as well. How do we respond? And are we in all our ordinariness? willing to allow God to lead us to places unimaginable and extraordinary. And let us offer our prayers to our loving and merciful God. For all whose lives have been torn apart by racism and for the courage and freedom to uproot the reality of racism and bigotry from ourselves, our society and our world, we pray to the Lord for the people of Beirut, and for all who have suffered trauma or violence, that they will be comforted by God's tenderness and compassion, we pray to the Lord. For all doctors and nurses, researchers and public servants, and all who are on the front lines of this public health crisis, we pray to the Lord. For the sick and the dying in our communities, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died and for those who mourn their passing from this life, we pray to the Lord. And for our own intentions. We pray to the Lord. Gathering all our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And we bow our heads and ask for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord bless you all the days of your life and grant you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.